Right then, I've walked around that. I've actually done it now. I've been all the way round over that way anyway. I've actually done that bit. I've not been down that valley yet. That'll be another thing to do another time. I've been all across there. Been all over there. Now we come to Bicknoller Post. Looks like it's either bigger or it's been... It just looks slightly... It still looks old, but it looks like more defined. Maybe not. Maybe it's still the same post. So here we are then. I've been here with all my children at one time or another. They've all been here with me. I've taken them for walks around. Duncan as well. Zara. Where we're going now, they've all been with me. So I have had them with me when I've done this. Maybe when they were small. Duncan would have been small. Say seven or eight when I've done this with him. <sighs> yeah, well, I like to end the walks coming down here. Yeah, I can remember when that was a gnarled, gnarled tree. It's got stumpier and stumpier each time I come. It was very gnarled for years. This is probably the worst bit, just going down this bit here. It's very um, rubbly. And it's hard on the toes actually. Your toes sort of fall into your side, inside your shoe. Trying to stop you falling over. But this is... Um, Shepherd's Coombe, I've got a feeling it's called actually the real name for this coombe. And Holford Glen, what I call Holford Glen, is Slaughterhouse Coombe. I've learnt some of the... There's ladies' coombe, there's frogs' coombe. There's all sorts of coombs. Smith's coombe. Perry coombe. Ah, oh, there's loads and loads and loads of names. Can't see no deer. I've only seen one deer today. That was a long time ago. In somebody's garden. Quite often there are deer perched... But it's not the rutting season yet, because Georgia asked me if it was. She thought she heard stags rutting when she was over here. I don't know what she, if she came over with the girls or what. But normally when we get down a bit, round the corner, there's quite often deer on the hill there. But because it's getting later, they might have started to come down for the stream. Now, when I went out with Georgia a few years back, 2014, I think it was, we came for a walk up this way. We did quite a lot of walk, actually. We saw stags, and there was lots and lots of them up on the hill. Lots and lots of stags. You have to, got to be careful in the rushing season, because they can see you as a threat, you see. So it's going to be in a good circular walk I've done today. In a Holford circular walk. Holford Smith's Coombe circular walk. With not a soul in sight. But I imagine it's five, nearly five o'clock now. That after tea time, bikers will come out. But mountain bikers come out for an evening on the Quantox but I haven't seen any I haven't seen any bikers no horses there were two people in the far far distance I picked up on the camera walking on the hills um, nobody nobody on the hills I, mean, I wonder why they're all keeping away. Has there been a big outbreak of ticks or something? Which is always a possibility, of course. This is the difficult part, this steep, rubbly bit. It evens up in a minute. And we'll be going past trees I've passed for years. You've known me since I was a child. Like the one, that dead one back there. It's now dead. 
Yeah, I need to explore over there at some point. I've done it before. I'm not going... There's a place to park. It's called Woodland Hill. And I, I want to do that one day. Although I've done it before, I think. I need to do it again. No, I can't see no deer. I can see sheep. I can't see no deer at all. They could all be down in the valley. Imagine that. I ought to be quiet, really. Look at that. Still not all out yet, the heather. Right, over in it for a minute.